The crime war in this city has many business owners clinging to life support tonight and fearing they could soon drown in defeat. At Denzel's Shark Bar and Grill. So you're getting layers of flavor. Shrimp and grits are on the stove. But for owner Denzel Richards. So a lot of my technique is French. Business is on his mind. I'm going to pay my bills now. Richards and his wife moved here three years ago and purchased the Fells Point building that once housed Jimmy's restaurant. Two years ago, Chef Denzel began serving his own style of American and Caribbean cuisine. The reception we have gotten from the general public has been astronomical. But it didn't take long before business began to stumble. <laughs> the frequent fights that erupted in the heart of Fells Point often led to an army of officers saturating the area and roads leading into the community were being shut down. Any artery pouring into this area is completely blocked off. So how are you going to do the business if the streets are blocked off and people cannot come into the area? And still, even though yeah, there's so much police presence, there's still um, crime, there's still shootings and whatever. The impact is taking a heavy toll. Our business dropped tremendously. The war on crime as many business owners here drowning in debt. Some have given up, others are still fighting. Richards has called on City Hall for help, but his calls have gone unanswered. But when you try to apply for it, it's just one hurdle over another hurdle, and you don't get frustrated and you just give up. Do they care? I don't know. The fire department, this is for um, the liquor board. For now, his struggle to pay his bills is on, but the dream of restaurant success is in jeopardy. We don't have the resources to stay alive. We don't think we're going to stay alive for like another two years. Yeah, eat. You may remember some three years ago, some business owners in Fells Point threatened to withhold their taxes, accusing the city of failing to provide adequate services to the area. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.